Hi guys, welcome to my new TV, Zealots. Happy New Year. My name is Denise and my partner in crime is Mary. And today we're going to be digging a little deeper with Star Trek during the hiatus. Um, we have a, a couple things we want to discuss, but first, Mary, say hi. Hi. Um, talking about Star Trek again, I've been on a Star Wars kick for so long, but like, I'm back in the fold. Um, we're talking about Lorca and just a couple of little theories we have while we're waiting for Star Trek Discovery to come back. Um, I've been in love with this show. It's not without its problems. I mean, it's, it's not absolutely perfect, but I'm in love with the show and I'm highly intrigued by Captain Lorca. So we're just going to throw out a couple of crazy things that um, Star Trek could give us um, in terms of his character um, and uh, his origins. So uh, take it away, Denise. Okay. Well, I mean, we kind of feel like Lorca has been this man out of time or beyond his, uh, you know, his skill set is just, you know, so oh. far ahead. And so... Um, People have been floating around a couple of theories, and I liked one uh, about Lorca being this uh, mirror universe. Um, yes. So, like, I totally could get behind this right. <laughs> theory, especially if it's going to get us a mirror universe episode. So, um, yeah, right. like, Lorca just... Um, seems to kind of like i don't know like he's ahead of the game like how did he know that um the cleons were going to be there to intercept the admiral when uh you know uh in the episode like just little things that like or either he's just really good at guessing like i don't know but i feel like yeah i don't know Anyway, think, go ahead, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like the idea of a mirror universe, Lorca. I like the idea of a time traveling Lorca. Like he got stuck. And um I like I also like the idea of Lorca as kind of a um seven, like a special agent. Remember in Deep like Space a, like Nine? Like a black ops. Right. Remember Deep Space Nine had kind of those black ops people that were mm -hmm. trying to recruit Dr. Bashir. And they also had the time cops that were trying to make sure when they went back in time and accidentally did the triple episode with the original series on Deep Space Nine, that they didn't meet the Kirk or Spock or anybody. And I'm wondering, like, if he has has a run with like the time cops or like the special ops kind of special agents people. Um, because one thing that uh, the show keeps cluing us in about is Lorca's fascination with interdimensional travel. Yeah. Like going back, not just across the universe, but across planes. And I'm sitting here like, why does he want this so bad? Why has he been pushing Stamets so hard to get the spore drive up and running himself? Another thing I also believe is that the spore drive doesn't just affect the one person in the cage. It affects everyone. And so um, I feel like everyone's going to see some kind of long-term effects because of the spore drive. I can um, agree with that. I feel like it would make sense that it would. Right? I, man, they, they have so much to deal with. And at first, I was kind of intrigued by like, oh, well, maybe, you know, we come back to Star Trek Discovery, the ship will be so far away. It'll be kind of like Voyager. Like, oh, we're so far away. Now we have to slowly make our way back home. But if they're in a different dimension, like they could just be shifting back and forth on their way home. Um, but yeah, those are our theories. 
I mean, I, yeah, I kind of feel like that's what where they are in between yeah. dimensions. And with that, it would it would certainly um, allow us to not have, be affected by that that um, just that ten year gap. Exactly. That's why. I mean, we know that the discovery is a new ship. It's a prototype. There were only two ships like it. Um, Stamets and his partner each had a ship made for them to test the spore drive. So they're kind of messing with the timeline. Like, well, if these ships were destroyed, then uh, the Starfleet wouldn't make another one like it. So that's one reason they can get around. Oh, it's only ten years in the future. But well, so I, there was a dis- mention of uh, discovery in the original series. So the right. ship they obviously re- remade the ship. Right. That's very. But true. something had to happen where, because I mean, it's too close. So they have yeah. that Lorca and his team. Exactly. I mean, they. I don't know. Or we'll see how they fix it. Like, I'm interested to know. <laughs> right. And there's something about Michael Burnham that he is obsessed with. Right? That I feel like as a time cop or as someone who knows the different dimensions, he needs her for something. And it scares me so much. <laughs> Maybe she was his wife in the other mirror universe. Ooh, stop. Don't make me ship them. Look. No, I, I, it's not even my idea. Like, I, I got okay. it from fanfic. <laughs> but it okay. popped in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. That, did she write a fanfic about that? Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. I got it from fanfic. Like, she was his wife from another time. It had to be. I mean, it's what amazing. Was the, I, I think it was, um, you know, I like to tell people's names, even though I'm terrible at it. But I think it was Lady Fang. Okay. I don't know. I, I can't be sure. <laughs> I'm terrible. Honestly. Sorry. It's no, no, no offense. Well, I hope we did your prompt justice. Um, I think we can shift just for a second um, and talk about some of the Star Trek Discovery backlash that um, I've been reading and hearing about from fanboys that, you know, the well actually side of the universe, which we kind of hate. Um, I just want to clear the air and say you are a literal fool, an idiot, and imbecile if you don't like Star Trek Discovery because Michael is a boy's name. I'm just going to put that out there. Delete your life. Take your account <laughs> offline. You're a dummy. The man, I, I saw a YouTube video and he said, he couldn't like it. And one of the reasons why is because Michael is a male name. You're going to have to go home and call your mom and just get your life together because you suck. So um, what about Tracy or, you know, all the names that are. I know, I, know a man, I know a man named Kelly, a man named Tracy. There's an Aaron and an Aaron. Like, y'all need to calm down. Like, right. They've been doing this forever. Stop it. Girls named Noah and Micah, like they're just, it's just a name. It's just a name. Um, another thing that uh, kind of gets me personally, I know that uh, some people have said that it's really hard to get into a show if you can't relate to the character, i.e. a character that doesn't look like you. Like there's not a stand up strong white male character. Um, like Lorca is super shady. Like he's not necessarily a good guy. You know, like there's not someone that we can look to, we, that they can look to um, as a hero for them. Where I'm really happy that we have Michael Burnham as a black female protagonist. Um, to that, I say, I see your pain. But also, like, she is one of very few Black female protagonists. And you can just go watch the other 97% of television shows that have white male protagonists and enjoy yourself. Give us one show. We want one. So we have one. Y'all chill. Chill. 
keep doing it. I can't. All right. That was it. I'm so sorry. That I'm sorry. I just no, I, that was great. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> I don't even think I need to add to that because, like, she said it beautifully and everything. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better now. Whew. Whew. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, let us know your theories. Like, I'm, I'm really, um, like I said, I'm really excited to see how. Um, Lorca is what what's going to shake from that tree and what how uh, Michael is involved, whether it's from a mirror universe or whether he's from black ops or whatever the you know, whatever it comes out to be. Um, I just want to know, like, I, I knew that he was in love with her skill set and everything. Right. But. I don't know if it's like some he's trying to go a specific place and he needs her for a specific thing. Right. Like, that's what I want to know. It's weird, man. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is it for this uh, episode of our little recaps. And um, we'll see you next time. I think next week the episode is uh, the, the new episode comes at the next episode. Comes. Yes. I'm so excited. So we'll be back next week to recap for you guys. Have a great night. Bye.